consider the composite figure shown on the screen, how can we find its area? In this video, we're going to focus on finding the area of composite figures that contain semicircles. Now, if you have a rectangle with length L and W with W, the area of the rectangle is simply length times width. Now for a circle, the area of a circle is pi r squared. For a semicircle, the area is going to be half of that. So it's one half pi r squared. Likewise, for a quarter circle, the area, well, what just happened here? It's going to be one fourth of a full circle. So it's one fourth pi r squared. So using these formulas, we can calculate the area of this particular composite figure. So for the rectangle, it's simply left times width, six times 10, and that's going to be 60 square feet. Now let's focus on the semicircle portion of the figure. What we need to determine is the radius of the semicircle. The radius is going to be the distance from the center to any endpoint on the semicircle. So this value will be r. Now, if this entire distance is six feet, r is going to be half of that. So r is three feet. And the area of the semicircle is going to be one half pi r squared. So that's half of pi times three squared. Three squared is nine divided by, or half of nine, that's 4.5 pi. So you have three squared, which is nine. If you divide nine by two, you get 4.5. So now the total area is gonna be the area of the rectangle, which is 60 square feet, plus the area of the semicircle, which is 4.5 pi. Now that is the exact answer, but if you wanna get a rounded answer, you can plug this in your calculator and you can replace pi with 3.14159. So replacing pi with that figure, we get an approximate area of 74.137 square feet. So that's going to be the total area of this particular figure. Now let's move on to our next example. If you want to try this problem, feel free to pause the video and give it a try. So we can immediately determine the area of the rectangle. It has a length of 16 and a width of five. So five times 16, we can multiply it as five times 10 plus six, 10 plus six is 16. Five times 10 is 50. Five times six is 30. 50 plus 30 is 80. So the area of the rectangle is 80 square centimeters. Now, in order to determine the area of the semicircle, we need to determine the radius. How can we find the value of the radius? Now, we know this part is 16 and this part is six. So the diameter of the semicircle is gonna be the difference of 16 and six. 16 minus six is 10. So this part is 10 centimeters. That's the diameter. The radius is gonna be half of that. So the radius is five centimeters. The radius is always half of the diameter. So now that we know, let me just put a, this is the center of the semicircle. This part is five, this is five, 
5, 5, and 6 adds up to 16. So now that we know the radius of the semicircle is 5 centimeters, we can calculate the area of the semicircle, which it's 1 half pi r squared. So we're going to plug in 5 for the radius. 5 squared is 25. And half of 25 is 12.5. So the area of the semicircle is 12.5 pi square centimeters. So now we can find a total area of the entire figure. So it's going to be the area of the rectangle, which is 80 square centimeters, plus the area of the semicircle, which is 12.5 pi square centimeters. We can leave our answer like this, which is an exact answer, or we can get a rounded decimal answer. So replace in pi with 3.14159. We're going to get 119.3 square centimeters. So that's it for the second example. That's how we can calculate the area of this particular composite figure. For those of you who want to quickly access my math and science video playlist, feel free to check out the website video-tutor.net. You'll find playlists on algebra, geometry, trig, pre-cal, calculus, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, statistics, and other topics as well. And you can also access my final exam review videos on this website, in addition to my test prep videos. And there's some other links that you can explore here as well, so feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now for our next example, what we have here is a quarter circle that has been cut out of a square. Knowing this information, go ahead and calculate the area of this figure. So if we were to extend this part, we could see this quarter circle. And this right here would represent the radius of that quarter circle. Now, if this is 18 and this is 9, that means this part has to be 9. And you could see it from the other side as well. If this is 18 and this is 9, this has to be 9 as well. So what that tells us is that the radius is 9 inches. So how can we get the answer for this problem? In this case, what we need to do is we need to use subtraction instead of addition. The total area is going to be the difference of the area of the square. That is this square right here. And once we have the area of the square, we need to subtract the area of the quarter circle. That will give us the remaining area of the figure. So it's going to be the area of the square minus the area of the quarter circle. The area of the square, if we call this s, and this s is simply s squared. You can also use the area of a rectangle formula, length times width, and you'll get the same result. Now the area of the quarter circle is going to be not one half, but one fourth of the area of a full circle, so it's 1 fourth pi r squared. So this is going to be s squared, which is 18 squared minus 1 fourth pi, and the radius of the quarter circle is 9. Now 18 squared, 18 times 18 is 324. And 9 squared is 81. So the exact answer is going to be 324 minus 81 over 4 pi with the units inches squared. But now let's get our rounded answer. 
So if you plug in 324 minus 81 pi over 4 in your calculator, you should get 260.4, if you round it to the nearest tenth place, square inches. So that's going to be the area of the shaded region, or the composite figure. Now let's move on to our last example of this video. And we have a composite figure that has a similar shape to a cupcake. Feel free to try this problem. Go ahead and calculate the area of this composite figure. So we can see that the diameter of this semicircle is 16 units. That means that the radius is going to be 8. Now what we have here is a trapezoid. We can calculate the area of the trapezoid or we can break it up into two triangles and a rectangle, which I'm going to see it that way. Now let's focus on the triangles. Both of these are right triangles. And notice that this is 10, which means this portion is 10. So I'm going to redraw the semicircle. So this part is 10, which means this part is 10. So I'm going to put a 10 right here. Now the total of this segment is 16. And this is basically a symmetrical figure, or at least we could assume that it's symmetrical, otherwise we can't solve it. Therefore, if this is 10 and the entire thing is 16, the remainder must be 6. If we split 6 in half, that means this part is 3 and the other part is 3. So this part is 3, this is 3. If this part is 8, that means this, sec this section here is 5, and this is 5. But the radius is still 8. It's 5 plus 3. So I'm just going to put r is equal to 8. Now focusing on this triangle, this is 3, this is 5. Do you know what the missing side is? This is going to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. If you know your special right triangles, they are 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, and there's also the 8, 15, 17. Now, if you didn't know your special right triangles, you can solve for this missing variable using the Pythagorean theorem. So if, this, if we call C the hypotenuse, and 3 is A, and the missing side is B, we could use the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a is 3. We want to calculate b. c is 5. 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, that's 9. 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, that's 25. Subtracting both sides by 9, we get that. If we bring this down, b squared is 25 minus 9, which is 16. Taking the square root of both sides, the square root of b squared is b. The square root of 16 is 4. So that's how we can show our work for that. But if you know your special right triangles, if you have 3 and 5, you know the missing side is going to be 4. So this part here is 4, and this is 4 as well. So now we have everything that we need to get the area of this composite figure. So focusing on the rectangle, we have a length of 10, a width of 4. So that gives us an area of 40 square units. Now, for this triangle, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. 
the base of the triangle is 3 units long. The height of the triangle is 4 units. It really doesn't matter the order in which you write it. You'll still get the same answer. 3 times 4 is 12. Half of 12 is 6. So each of these two triangles will have an area of 6 square units. Now let's focus on the semicircle. The area for that is going to be 1 half pi r squared and r is 8. 8 squared or 8 times 8 is 64. Half of 64 is 32. So the area of the semicircle is 32 pi. So now we can calculate the total area by adding up the individual areas. So it's going to be 40 plus 6 plus 6 plus 32 pi. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 40, that's 52. So we get 52 plus 32 pi square units. Since we weren't given a unit for these values in this problem, we're just going to say square units. Now let's get the decimal equivalent of this answer. So 52 plus 32 pi is approximately 152.5 square units. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the area of composite figures that contain semicircles.